In recent times, we have seen a number of new technologies coming up in the fitness sector. Fitness band is one of them. These devices can measure your heart rate, how well you slept last night, or the number of steps you have walked. Here we will break down and see how these step counters work. It uses a device called accelerometer to measure the acceleration of the wrist to detect movement and also to determine the kind of movement it is. Is he or she walking or just drinking a cup of tea? We will try to make this step counter mechanism using an Arduino Uno and an MPU6050 module. To communicate with the MPU6050 module, we will use the i 6 protocol and configure it to be in the slave mode. Hence, we will be using the SCL and SDA pins for the serial clock and serial data respectively. If we would have used the MPU6050 as master, we would have used the XDA and XCL pins on the board. So that was pretty much about the hardware aspects. Jumping into the software side, we won't be using some library function. First of all, we will set up the MPU. We will be doing all our transmission to the MPU using the binary address 1101000. Using this MPU address, we will select different registers to set mode and sensitivity as required. Then we record the acceleration register values and gyroscope register values into their respective long variables. Then we finally calculate the acceleration and rotational speed by dividing it with a respective value from the datasheet. So let's load this code into our Arduino and check how it works. As you can see, the GeForce on the different axes are changing depending on the orientation. We will utilize this thing to construct the algorithm of our fitness band. When a person walks, they swing their arms back and forth. That is, if we tie an accelerometer to one's wrist, the g-force on the different axes will also be changing. One important point to note that will distinguish between walking and drinking coffee is that while walking, if the g-force increases in one direction for a particular moment, within a very small interval of time, say one second, the g-force will increase in exactly opposite direction. Hence, in the code, first we have checked if g-force in y direction is greater than 0.5 and set a flag if the condition satisfies. Then we check if there is a value in the negative y direction less than minus 0.5 within an interval of 1 second. If this is satisfied, we count it as a step. Otherwise, after the completion of that 1 second, we set back the flag as 0. For the sake of simplicity of this example, we will be counting only 20 steps. After that, we will reset the counter back to zero. With that, we are now only left with the demonstration.